Hey everyone and welcome back to Tal's Cosplay Vlog. I'm so excited to be talking to you guys again. It's been forever and I'm so sorry. I was studying for my registration exam uh, before September. I took it in September and now I'm talking to you guys. So my videos before September would just been me being all like, I study for 12 hours and here's some anatomy facts that you really don't want to know. And then the rest of the time I've just been working and trying to figure out what I can do to bide my time while I'm waiting for my results for my exam. Because they're taking forever and it's killing me! <laughs> uh, if you ever had to wait for a registration exam results to know what you're going to do with the rest of your life, if you passed or failed or whatnot, it kills you a little bit. So what I did was I joined two very nerdy charity groups in my area. One is for the Children's Hospital. Well, it was originally for the Children's Hospital, but then also encompassed um, like emergency services like fire, police, um, um, first responders sort of idea, like hospitals, etc. Um, not a hospital, but ambulances. You get, you get it. Sorry, I shook you. <laughs> so I did that and I joined them and I had my first charity event with them uh, earlier this month. I think in like the beginning of this month. And it was so much fun, you guys. Uh, you dress up as a superhero and you... We manned the carnivals. We, in this hobby fair thing that was going on, we were there and we um, were manning the carnival games. And the money that went into getting tickets for the carnival games went to the children's hospital. And so I was super lucky enough to man the zombie shooting game. That's right up my alley. I'm so excited to like be part of that. What it was were um, kids would get tickets and one red ticket would get you three shots. And if you got three shots from the zombie, like hit the zombies three times, you get three tickets and then those tickets would go into a draw next door, into a toy draw thing. And um, so there was a bunch of Nerf guns lying around and then people dressed up as zombies with like glasses and such on to protect themselves from kids. And uh, it went really, really well. A lot of kids had a lot of fun. Um, and I was all like, help defend the living by sh hurting the dead and like shooting the dead. And, and who's going to help your favorite superhero fight the living dead? And zombies and blah and it was really really fun. I kind of got into it and it was awesome. It was so much awesome. And we raised over $20,000 for the Children's Hospital which was just so good. I was so happy that we were able to do that and kind of amazed like how such a little thing can raise so much money and it was really really fun. I didn't get to see the rest of the uh, carnival themed uh, Halloween themed carnival games that the rest of the superheroes were running because I was kind of stuck on shift but it was so much fun you guys um, and the other group I joined uh, was just recently it was a Resident Evil group which is also a charity group and we I haven't done any charitable events with them yet but we did uh, help out the zombie walk and uh, the my city asked the head of this Resident Evil charity group to uh, man the zombie walk, like actually take over the, the actually take over the uh, zombie walk. Um, and it was so much fun. Uh, I made a Resident Evil Doctor zombie. I had like a Resident Evil patch on my coat. But I think I'm gonna have to like alter the coat in a way where you can actually see the patch a bit more. I was, and I was actually like patient zero because I was the first zombie at the zombie walk location. Which made me kind of laugh. Because Resident Evil, you know, Umbrella Corp, you know, they, they made the zombies slash they also helped defeat the zombies, you know? <laughs> Anyways, it was really, really fun. And I have a few pictures of that event at the end of this video, if you want to see. If you are kind of weak stomach, you might not want to see it. Um, but yeah, I will give a little warning, like, zombie pictures coming up now, so you can you can look away. You can not watch that part. 
Um, but if you guys want to know how I made the bone um, teeth masky prosthetic thing, like I actually opened my mouth and it like fit, uh, I can let you guys know that. Just let me know if you want to if you want to see a tutorial on that. And um, yeah, it was really really fun. I had a blast. Uh, everyone in my new groups are super awesome people, both the superhero group as well as the Resident Evil group. And I can't wait to see what else we have in store. I'm actually uh, remaking my Harley Quinn um, mask with uh, black liquid latex. I am on layer 8 of 30 right now and have obviously a long way to go. I'm probably going to get to 10 t layer 10 tonight to let her sit overnight and then... Um, do the next 20 tomorrow. And I also want to redo the cuffs and gloves and boot covers of my Harley Quinn costume. It might take her, her in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be super awesome. Uh, the next event I'm going to is a handing out uh, candy to kids at a local mall as well as doing another carnival themed event um, close by. I don't actually know if there's like a separate thing, like before there was a hobby and toy fair that we were doing this carnival game event at. I don't know if there's going to be anything like that or if it's just going to be like a carnival. No idea. But I will help out when I get there and it'll be good. It will be so good. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty, pretty excited for Halloween. And this is all I've been doing. My hair has always been poking out poking it like this, and it's annoying, but whatever. I've also been involved with uh, Pokemon X. Uh, this is my first Pokemon game since the original Red and Blue, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of crazy about it. The only thing I wish they still did was have your Pokemon outside of their Pokeballs, but I'm pretty happy that they have a Pokemon bank or whatever that will allow you to download your old Pokemon. Pretty excited about that. I'm I'm really excited about that. Even though I have friends that have played the previous Pokemon games, so they have all the Pokemon I would like to download. So yeah, I'm I'm all over that. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys are having a really, really good time, and it's Halloween, so stock up on your special effects makeup or anything you see that you can alter into something else. Um, yeah, and if you want to, you know, if you need any help with anything, let me know. I'm totally willing to help you guys out. Not really sure what you guys would want help with, but I'm, I'm here for you. I support you in your costuming craziness. So I'll uh, talk to you guys hopefully soon. Um, I might show you when this mask is done to see if, see if it turned out. Uh, the reason I'm not uh, making it over the eye holes here is because uh, Harley Quinn's mask is very different eye holes than this mask, so I'm just using it as a template for the liquid latex to be rounded. And hopefully it will turn out. I'm not, I have no idea. I have no idea if this is going to turn out, but I'm hoping. Very much so. So, um... Yeah, have a good night, you guys. Like I said, stay safe and uh, keep cosplaying.